According to Julie Unger's book, Self vs. Others, the third person effect is a theory that assumes we do not perceive other, ourselves to be adversely impacted by messages, but we think others will be. Today, I would like to present the foundation of the third person, person effect theory and how it is applied in everyday life. The third person effect was first presented by W. Phillips Davidson in 1983 in his book, The Third Person Effect in Communication. He did some observations and experiments, and he predicted that people will tend to overestimate the influence that mass communication has on the attitude and behavior of others. And as that happens, the impact that they expect this communication to have on others may lead them to take some action. The third person effect occurs when there is a judgment of message desirability and perceived social distance. For instance, if you hear a news report saying, According to NYPD, this year's car accident rate in New York City reached 94% and an overwhelming rate compared to that of last year's report. If you live in the city or commute to the New York City, then you might want to say, Yo, that number is just too high, yo. None of my homie actually died from accident. Well, we should be fine, yeah? Here, he realizes the problem, but he doesn't want to admit that he's influenced by the media. So he's not going to change the method of transportation from bus or his own car. Another factor that influences the size of third-person effect is perceived social distance between self and others. Using the same example, you might want to say, Oh yo, I live in Maine. I mean, I sometimes go to cities, but I use the train, yo. That's unsafe. The dangerous part of this is that the accident is not specified. It might be an accident with pedestrians. According to this, we might be able to say that the third person theory is an extension of selective exposure. Thank you very much.